Many people ask me this question. Can a 48 volt battery kill you? Short answer, no. But under certain circumstances, it can still pose a risk. Let's dive deeper into why that is. Safety standards set the safe voltage limits at around 50 volts for AC systems and 120 volts for DC systems. A fully charged lithium iron phosphate battery reaches approximately 58 volts. This is below the safe DC safety threshold. But let's clarify something important. What actually poses the danger? Voltage or current? It's commonly understood that current is what harms or kills. But voltage and current are closely linked. Higher voltage can reduce your body's resistance, allowing more current to flow. This means a high voltage even at a low current can cause severe electrical burns and nerve damage. Think of a high voltage spark easily jumps through air. Let's take a look at this 30 volt spark and compare it to a 5 volt spark. Let's now use a 5 volt spark. So the higher the voltage, it will break down your resistance of the skin faster, which I will talk about later in the video. The current flowing through your body can be calculated using Ohm's law. For example, 50 volts across 10 kilo ohms with dry skin, you will get 5 milliamps to your body. But if you use 120 volts across the same resistance, you will get 12 milliamps of current. So the higher the voltage, the greater the current, and consequently, the greater the risk. Interestingly, the danger also depends on whether the current is AC or DC, and even varies between men and women. According to research, the threshold of pain for men is about 5.2 milliamps for DC current, but only 1.1 milliamps for AC. So why is there a difference between men and women? Typically, men have a slightly higher body resistance than women. So what is body resistance? We can imagine our body's resistance as three resistors in series. The first one is resistance at the entry point, or your skin. The second one is your internal body resistance, which is quite low, around 100 ohms, due to the salty water in your tissues. Now don't try to measure your internal resistance of your body with a multimeter, because there's a story of a sailor that died using a multimeter to puncture his skin and measure its resistance. A 9 volt battery in a multimeter divided by 100 ohms equals 90 milliamps. So in theory it's possible, but I'm not sure if the story is real. I will link it in the description. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And the last is the resistance of your skin, clothing or shoes at the exit point towards the ground, usually high as well, unless you stand with your bare feet in water. Now who does that? Luckily the GFCI saved me. So if you touch a battery terminal and complete the circuit to ground, through your feet or the negative terminal, your body resistance might be around 1000 ohms, which is 58 volts. The current will be 58 milliamps. According to medical data, at 58 milliamps DC, you will definitely feel pain, but you should still retain muscle control and let go. However, if your skin is dry and you have proper shoes on, your resistance could be around 10 kilo ohms, resulting in 5.8 milliamps. You'll still feel some pain, but you'll be able to pull your hand back. 
when I measure my body resistance with dry skin and a multimeter, it will be around 1 mega ohm. So according to Ohm's law, to get a deadly current of 75 milliamps flowing through my body, I will need a voltage of 75,000 volts. But here's the weird thing. If I stick my fingers in a 230 volts AC outlet, it will be fatal if there is no GFCI. So how is this possible? This phenomenon is called dielectric breakdown. When a high enough voltage is applied, your skin's resistance suddenly drops, allowing a much higher current to flow. Styro Pro demonstrated this clearly in his video using an apple. I will link the video in the description if you're interested. The voltage limit I mentioned at the beginning of the video, 50 volts for AC and 120 volts for DC, are practical safety guidelines. DC allows a higher safe limit because frequency also affects how dangerous electricity is. But it gets quite complicated. In conclusion, always be cautious around 48 volt batteries. Even though they are generally safe, if your palms are sweaty, they can still give you a shock. Make sure you're well isolated from the ground and avoid working on batteries if you're sweating or conditions are damp. Let me know in the comments if you think it's possible to die from a multimeter with a 9 volt battery. If you want to learn more about off-grid solar power, check out this playlist. And for videos about off-grid solar power diagrams, check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.